taking a live look at the Supreme Court where Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg lies in repose. Today marks the start of three days of public remembrance for the late justice. CBS News reporter Skylar Henry joins us live from Washington, D.C. Skylar, good afternoon. Len, good afternoon to you. Well, hundreds, if not thousands, of people are out here at the Supreme Court paying their respects to the late Supreme Court justice who lies in repose at this portico here at the Supreme Court. Earlier today, there was a private ceremony to honor the trailblazer for her time in the high court. Now, the big question is who the president will pick to replace her and what that process will look like. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg arrived at the Supreme Court for the last time Wednesday, where she now lies in repose. Ginsburg was remembered as a trailblazer and a fierce advocate for women's rights. This was Justice Ginsburg's life's work, to insist that the Constitution deliver on its promise, that we the people would include all the people. Chief Justice John Roberts said Ginsburg's opinions will guide the court for decades to come. She will live on in what she did to improve the law and the lives of all of us. And yet, still, Ruth is gone and we grieve. Carolyn Curry, Talman, and Renee Bobbitt came from Florida to pay their respects. You know, so many of the things that we take for granted as women and people, you know, she was instrumental in, in providing. So that's, that's really why we felt like we had to be here. President Trump is expected to come to the Supreme Court to pay his respects to Justice Ginsburg tomorrow. The president says he needs to move quickly to name her replacement so the full court can hear any cases that come up from the November election. You're going to need nine justices up there. I think it's going to be very important because what they're doing is a hoax with the ballots. They're sending out tens of millions of ballots unsolicited. President Trump met with Judge Amy Coney Barrett for a second time at the White House Tuesday. And sources tell CBS News she is the leading candidate to replace Justice Ginsburg on the bench. Now, you'll have to remember that the president says that he plans on naming a new nominee this Saturday at the White House sometime around 5 p.m. Eastern. Also, Republicans feel as though they have enough support to move, fo move forward in the selection process. We're here at the Supreme Court. I'm Skyler Henry, KPIX 5.